Monster Energy Yamaha factory MXGP rider Gautier Paulin takes us for a lap around this Fienta circuit. It's about 115, 120 meters to that first turn. Then we're into two giant rollers, dropping downhill slightly into turn two. Then we hit the city step down. It's about 18 meters from the top to the bottom there. And then we hit the first of several climbs here into the tight right, dropping down slightly onto this plateau. 180 switch back left. You'll see how the circuit will transform over the course of race day. Back uphill in the opposite direction before dropping down one more time. All the while, the work the riders are having to do, the suspension working over time, the lines that they're having to pick and choose, the circuit condition very hard packed underneath as well. The short, sharp downhill here, the Monster Energy Descent. A lot of lines will be utilized through this part of the racetrack. You've got that hard slick bank to the outside, then the uphill wave section. This used to be turn three at the top of here many, many years ago, but as you can see, we are a lot deeper into the lap now. This is the highest point of the racetrack, the iPhone tabletop jump. Then we have this long sweeping left before turning a lot tighter here. Up onto this plateau. And then a little right turn, dropping downhill once more. Another sweeping turn, this time off to the right. Choice of lines through there. Then we fall off the edge of the earth as we hit this point here. Dropping downhill, sweeping through this long left-hander, the first of three tabletops, the first shorter than the second. This one here about 22 meters long. Another short burst into the final tabletop there, about 15 meters or so, into the final left-hand turn. Of course, there we are, past pit lane, into the final corner, a right-hander. And on the exit, we have the Monster Energy finish line jump. And when we land, we go right, downhill and left, that takes us back up the start straight here to start another lap. <laughs>